is your name Jehovah is your name mighty warrior great in battle Jehovah is your name mighty warrior great in battle Jehovah is your name mighty warrior great in battle Jehovah Hashidahaya mm. mighty warrior Great in battle, Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. Thank you, Lord. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. Mighty warrior, great in battle, Jehovah is your name mighty warrior great in battle Jehovah is your name mighty warrior Great in battle, Jehovah is your name. Mighty warrior, great in battle, Jehovah is your name we bless your name lord we honor you O god for you alone is god you alone are worthy blessed be god who made all things the god of abraham isaac and jacob blessed be your name hallelujah Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of our God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I strongly believe that my voice is audible enough even without the hand microphone. Praise God. This is the day the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. It is a day the Lord has blessed. It is a day the Lord has consecrated. It is a day the Lord has designed for us. A day the Lord has designed, well designed by the Lord for you and for me. Hallelujah. It is Tuesday, the 9th of November, 2021 and according to our tradition as a church as a ministry as believers offline and online every tuesday we fast and pray 
and I have been commissioned by God to stream at 7 a.m. every Tuesday morning that we may pray wherever you are in the world that you may connect and pray with us whatever the prayer point of the day might be we pray a praying church is a conquering church a praying Christian is a powerful Christian we know very well that when we pray we prevail for the battle we fight is not a battle that flesh and blood is the main object, the main threat. Our battle is not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers. God is with us on this day. And I really want to welcome every one of you watching right now. God knows you by name. Distance is not a barrier. As we assemble together on this platform, if you're watching on Facebook or on YouTube, the Lord bless you. This is a very special day. And I trust the Lord that as we pray, as we wait on Him today, He is going to do what we ask. Because what we do when we pray is basically to bring before the Lord our concerns. What we do when we pray is basically to cast our burdens on Him. And you know what the scripture says concerning casting our burdens on the Lord? It says, cast your burdens on the Lord and He shall sustain you. He will not allow you to be moved. So what you are dealing with today, what you are fighting with today, the battle facing you today, should go to the Lord. You've done everything you could. And all effort to get out of this mess <clears throat> proved abortive. It is time to let the Lord step in. <clears throat> it is time to let the Lord step in. And he will surely, <clears throat> excuse me, he will surely step in and prove himself to be mighty in battle. He will prove himself to be great in battle. He will prove himself to be mighty warrior in your life. Hallelujah. We started the week on a very good note. And this week was declared a week of overcoming. Yesterday, if you're following this ministry closely via our social platforms, yesterday we had a prayer. As we entered the week, we prayed into the new week. And uh, the week was declared a week of overcoming. By the Spirit of God, I was very precise on what we should pray about and things that need to get out of the way. The mountains, the challenges, whatever that you are dealing with. I strongly believe that this week you shall overcome hallelujah and so today we are fasting and the theme of our prayer today is overcoming by the blood the blood of jesus have not lost its potency the blood of jesus have not lost its potency the blood of jesus have never lost its power there is no battle as far as i know which the blood of Jesus was involved, the blood of Jesus, there is no battle as far as I know, which the blood of Jesus was involved that ended up in defeat on the side of a child of God. The blood is powerful. The blood of Jesus is powerful. And we are fasting today and praying to enforce the power and the strength of the blood of Jesus. The blood that speaks better things than the blood of Abel. The blood that speaks better things than the blood of Abel. The blood that is power 
supersedes the blood of any animal, bull, ram, or fowl, whatever people slaughter in a way of sacrificing to whatsoever for dominion, to take territories, to subdue people, to oppress others. The blood of Jesus has more power than any other blood. And so we are going to engage the power of the blood today. That blood will speak for you. That blood will speak for you. That blood, the blood of Jesus shall speak for you. The blood of Jesus shall speak for you as we plead the blood against principalities and powers, against rulers of darkness in high places, against territorial powers and territorial demons, against anything that stands in your way as we plead the blood of Jesus. They shall all go out of the way. The blood of Jesus is powerful. So we are fasting today to overcome by the blood. Please tell someone about this prayer. And I want you to be serious with this prayer. Because today I am very certain. The Lord impressed on me that today the blood of Jesus is going to lose so many shackles. So many people are going to go free. So many families shall be liberated. So many so many lives shall experience absolute liberation by the blood of Jesus. A lot of battles are going to end by the blood of Jesus. The enemy, the arch enemy as we know him, the devil, shall be totally defeated in your life by the blood of Jesus. Whatever stands in your way that threatens your very life, that threatens your, your, your very uh, source of, uh, of income, your existence, shall be totally totally defeated, totally conquered by the blood of Jesus Christ. I have tested the, the blood and I can tell you the blood is powerful. I have enforced the blood. I have used the blood in so many deliverance cases. I have used the blood of Jesus to liberate so many families. Family liberation. I've used the blood of Jesus in family liberation, land liberation, community liberation. I have seen the power of the blood of Jesus. And I make bold to say to you that today, the blood is going to make a way of escape for you. The blood is going to liberate you, it's going to remove every incision and whatsoever it represents. Whatever has been placed on you, whatever has been deposited into you. You know, some people, some people have gone to many places. And each place they go is either they were given something to drink or something is put on their body or they were asked to do A, B, C. And unknown to them, whatever they were asked to do in those places that the Lord forbids, opens more doors, more channels for demonic invasion and attack in their lives. Whatever door that has been opened in such manner unknown to you, or maybe somebody did it on behalf of your family, and it eventually opened a door from which all those dark forces have entered into your life, wrecking havoc, tearing things down, destroying your, 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 your plans. Whatever door that has been opened shall be sealed today by the blood of Jesus Christ. Now let me tell you this. In every battle, there is a winner. And with every winner, there is a weapon. The weapon of our warfare is not carnal, but a mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. And that very weapon is the blood of Jesus. That very weapon is the blood of Jesus. It is by the blood of Jesus we overcame the devil. The Bible says in the book of Revelation, chapter 12, verse 11, And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. Now we are in a battle. And our battle is not 
carnal. It's not physical. We are in a battle against principalities and powers. Many are beginning to attest to the fact that spiritual battle is real. In our time and age, in this very dispensation, we have seen it like we've never seen in the history of mankind. We are in a battle with principalities and powers. They have their puppets everywhere. They have their agents everywhere. They have people who have offered themselves, volunteers. They have many volunteers that have offered themselves to be empowered and equipped by these dark forces to perpetrate all kinds of evil and damage to the lives of many. They are everywhere. We are in a battle. And this battle one must win. Is either we win or they win. This is why a prayer like this is essential. Is essential, is, is very crucial to the life of every believer. I am not here talking to myself. I am not here to waste your time. We are in a battle that every one of us must acknowledge. And in this battle, there must emerge a winner. There must emerge a winner. A winner must emerge. Is it that we win or they win? God forbid that they will conquer. They can never win. They will never conquer us. Whatever you are dealing with will never conquer you. Whatever you are dealing with shall not overcome you. That is why we need to pray. There are some that will stumble upon this stream. Just read the caption and keep scrolling. There are some that will stumble upon this screen, this stream, and just read the caption and walk away. So many destinies are destined to be untied by today's prayer. There must be a winner. Can you sacrifice your victory? No retreat, no surrender. We shall not surrender. We shall not bow down to the enemy. We shall not bow down to principalities and powers. Is it that we fight? Is it that we enforce the power that has been given unto us? The weapon that is at our disposal, which is the blood of Jesus. Is it that we enforce this weapon against all these demonic forces or they will deal with us the blood of jesus is our weapon and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb here is a confirmation that there is somebody we are at war with somebody that is invisible to the optical eyes somebody that is invisible to the eyes of men he's somewhere behind the sand plotting, drafting all the plans and uh, dishing out all the strategies, someone behind the scenes, someone uh, uh, on the other side pulling the strings, principalities and powers, the devil himself, our arch enemy. His attacks are real. And the Bible is telling us that in the time past, he was overcame by the blood. And because the blood is still much relevant and much effective in our time, the same weapon that no technology, the same weapon that no technology, technological advancement, or deeper knowledge of anything diabolic, could uh, override the blood of Jesus forever will remain potent. We overcame the devil by the blood of the Lamb. The blood of the Lamb. The blood of the Lamb. This is why we are praying today. We shall overcome. Somebody say, I shall overcome. 
Somebody say, I shall overcome. Say, I shall overcome. Say, I shall overcome. In the name of Jesus. Now I want you to declare this with me. Say today, as I begin to pray, my prayer shall not be hindered. I shall testify because of today's prayer to the glory of God and to the shame of the devil. In the name of Jesus. Say, as I begin to pray, I declare my prayer shall not be hindered. I shall testify because of today's prayer to the glory of God and to the shame of the devil. Make that declaration one more time. Say, I declare, as I begin to pray, my prayer shall not be hindered. I shall testify because of this prayer to the glory of God and to the shame of the devil. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and begin to pray. Wherever you are in your room, wherever you are in the office, in your shop, wherever you are, seated in a, in a taxi, in a car, wherever you are, it doesn't matter. Just lift your voice and declare it. Say this repeatedly like you mean it. As I begin to pray, my prayer shall not be hindered. I shall testify because of today's prayer to the glory of God and to the shame of the devil. I shall testify because of this prayer in the name of Jesus. My prayer shall not be hindered. My prayer shall not be hindered. My prayer shall not be hindered. My prayer shall not be hindered in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, as I pray, as I enforce the power of the blood, as I plead the blood of Jesus, there shall be testimonies in my life. There shall be testimonies in my life. There shall be a result, a positive result in the name of Jesus. As I pray today, my prayer shall produce many results. My prayer shall be effective in the mighty name of Jesus Christ as I pray in Jesus. Jesus mighty name we pray amen and amen now listen when we pray like this the enemy always know what is about to happen and that is a perfect time for him to shoot arrows arrows of weakness that is why some people will kneel down to pray and they doze off they doze off some people when it comes to praying they feel so tired some people, when, they, when it's time to pray, they start feeling headache. The devil will begin to bombard their mind with several thoughts. You are praying, but you are not concentrating. You are not concentrated. Your mind is busy roaming about. A lot of issues will be coming to mind when you are praying. These are the attacks of the enemy. And as far as I know, prayer is associated with visualization. Prayer is associated with the mind. When you pray, you need to focus. You need to concentrate. You need to focus on what you're praying. And as you are praying, the Lord will be giving you an invitation. Um, what is it called? Inspiration, insight. As you are praying, this is one thing the devil does not want. When we pray, we get revelations. We get insight. So you're going to pray now and cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. Let's begin from there. As we pray, the blood of Jesus may cover us, so no attack, no unclean spirit, no negative thought may invade our heart, invade our mind. There is no arrow of weakness that will ever penetrate us. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray. Say, I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. Say, as I pray this morning, I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. Say, as I pray today, I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, cover yourself with the precious blood of Jesus. Cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. Cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. Cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Be it known to you that the devil will do anything to hinder your prayer. Be it known to you that the devil will do anything to provoke you while you wait on the Lord. And the time of provocation is a time of spiritual theft. The time of provocation is a time of spiritual robbery. The devil would try to rob you of whatever God has in store for you.
As I'm speaking to you now, there is a blessing hanging over you. The answers are ready. The answers are ready to be re released. God is only waiting for you to ask. Now the devil doesn't want you to get this. And so he will shoot many arrows to divert you. To divert your attention. So you move out of place. God knows your location right now. And he is sending you answers. He is sending you blessings. He is sending you your expectations. Your expectations. All those are coming right at you. God knows your location. The devil wants you to shift. And that's not going to happen. Cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. Some people when they pray, it looks like all hell has broken loose. This must not happen to you. That's why you need to cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. Cover your family. Cover your business. Cover your health. Cover your property. Your items. Everything. So nothing gets attacked because of your prayer today. For we are about to enforce the blood of Jesus. We are about to implement the power of the blood of Jesus. Apply the power of the blood of Jesus against every ungodly situations and circumstances. For it is our week of overcoming and we shall overcome. We shall overcome. We have come today that our victory may be sealed by the blood of Jesus. We have come today to overcome by the blood. Begin to cover yourself with the precious blood of Jesus. Cover your life with the blood of Jesus. Cover your mind, your spirit, your soul and body with the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus cover us. The blood of Jesus cover us. In the name of Jesus. Cover me with your blood. Jesus, cover me with your blood. Cover me with your blood. Jesus, cover me with your blood. I put my trust in you. Jesus, cover me with your blood. I put my trust in you. Lord, cover me with your blood. Cover me with your blood, Jesus, cover me with your blood. Cover me with your blood, Jesus, cover me with your blood. I put my trust in you, Jesus, cover me with your blood. I put my trust in you, Jesus, cover me with your blood. Cover me with your blood, Jesus, cover me with your blood. Cover me with your blood, Jesus, cover me with your blood. I put my trust in you Jesus cover me with your blood I put my trust in you Jesus cover me with your blood Lord I put my trust in you Jesus cover me with your blood I put my trust in you Lord cover me with your blood I put my trust in you Jesus cover me with your blood I put my trust in you Lord cover me with your blood Cover me with your blood Jesus cover me with your blood Cover me with your blood, Jesus, cover me with your blood. I put my trust in you, Lord, cover me with your blood. I put my trust in you, Lord, cover me with your blood. It doesn't matter what has been concluded against you. When the blood of Jesus covers you, they that plan against you plan in vain. 
when the blood of Jesus covers you, they that plot against you plot in vain. When the blood of Jesus covers you, accident will not be your portion. When the blood of Jesus covers you, untimely death will not be your lot. Cover me with the blood of Jesus. Baradosaya. Lord, cover me with your precious blood. Cover me with your precious blood. Cover me with your precious blood. My life be covered with the blood of Jesus. My health be covered with the blood of Jesus. My children be covered with the blood of Jesus. The days are evil, O oh Lord. I pray I be covered in the name of Jesus with the blood that speaks better things than the blood of Abel. With the blood by which we overcame the devil. May I be covered with the blood, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, I ask for a covering of the blood in the name of Jesus cover me as I go in and as I go out cover me O God and all that is mine cover us cover us cover us cover us even as we pray today cover us today Lord in the name of Jesus cover us with your blood cover us with your blood cover us with your blood cover us father in Jesus mighty name in Jesus mighty name in Jesus mighty name we pray in Jesus mighty name we pray in Jesus mighty name we pray to be covered with the blood this morning is our prayer thank you Lord in Jesus mighty name amen the blood of Jesus is a weapon the blood of Jesus is for overcoming the blood of Jesus is not just for the remission of sin is also a weapon of war a weapon of battle and i showed you a proof in the book of revelations chapter 12 verse 11 that they overcame him by the blood of jesus the devil in your life and family is about to suffer an absolute defeat today by the blood of jesus the devil in your workplace is about to suffer an absolute defeat by the blood of Jesus. The devil threatening your life and your stay, your very existence is about to experience defeat by the blood of Jesus. The devil in your family is about to experience defeat by the blood of Jesus. The devil in the foundation of your life is about to experience defeat in the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your voice and say in the name of Jesus. Pray this prayer like you mean it. Say I plead the blood of Jesus against every contrary spirit. Against every devil disturbing my life. I plead the blood of Jesus against you. I plead the blood of Jesus against principalities. I plead the blood of Jesus against powers. I plead the blood of Jesus against rulers of darkness in my area, in my place of oppression. I plead the blood of Jesus against you forces of darkness. In the mighty name of Jesus, be defeated by the blood. Be defeated by the blood. Be defeated by the blood. In the name of Jesus, be defeated by the blood. Somebody plead the blood of Jesus against them. Plead the blood of Jesus against those ancestral spirits. Plead the blood of Jesus against all those demonic forces and entities. Plead the blood of Jesus against that evil seed which the enemy has planted in your life. Plead the blood of Jesus against them. Plead the blood of Jesus against every unclean spirit that is after your life and destiny. Plead the blood of Jesus. Child of God, we live in a world full of battles. Child of God, we are in a battlefront. We are in a battlefront. And I tell you, the battle is more intense in our time and age. The battle is more fierce in our time and age. Begin to plead the blood of Jesus. 
let the blood of Jesus, let the blood of Jesus be used against them. For we overcame by the blood of the Lamb, we overcame by the blood of Jesus. The victory continues, the victory continues, an everlasting victory, an everlasting victory. You just need to acknowledge that the power in the blood is still there. You just need to acknowledge that the blood is still very potent and effective. Plead the blood of Jesus against those spirits against those ungodly situations in the mighty name of jesus 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 plead the blood of jesus i pray in the name of jesus for you in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus whatever is not of god in your life whatever is working against you every occult power every demonic spirit that is in your life disrupting the very course and the progression of your life i plead the blood of jesus against them in the name of jesus every ancestral spirit every ancestral spirit every environmental demon every territorial powers just like the prince of patia and media that stands against you against your destiny against your life against your career against your expectation against your hope whatever it might be i plead the blood of jesus against it in the name of jesus the blood is flowing in the name of jesus i plead the blood of jesus against all those forces against all those powers all those powers that are determined to keep you going around in circles all those powers that are determined to keep you stationary in life no progress no advancement no improvement no growth i come against all those spirits and entities whatever they are and i plead the blood of jesus against them every shrine that stands against you and your purpose in this life I plead the blood of Jesus against it. In the name of Jesus, every charm, every voodoo that is against you in this life, I plead the blood of Jesus against it. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Whoever is somewhere behind the sand pulling the strings against you, whoever is somewhere behind the sand carrying out all the manipulations, engineering the things that are manifesting in your life as a disease, as a suffering, as a discomfort, whoever it is, in the name of Jesus, I plead the blood of Jesus against them. I plead the blood of Jesus against them. For by the blood we overcome. By the blood we will overcome by the blood we overcome in the name of Jesus by the blood we overcome in Jesus mighty name not every situation you face child of God is a test from God not every situation that you find yourself is God testing your faith most of the situations and things you find yourself going through in this life are purely demonic activities. They are mere attempt by the wicked one to frustrate you, to stress the life out of you. Many situations are purely demonic and has to be resolved by the blood of Jesus. All those situations must be resolved by the blood of Jesus. It is not the will of God that any should perish. It is not the will of God that as his child, as born again, that you continue to suffer in the hand of your persecutors. It is not the will of God. Ah, no. It is not the will of God. It is not the will of God. We can't just dismiss it as it is the will of God. It is what God destined for me. It is what God wants for me. What can I do? It is what 
we can't dismiss it as such. We need to take a stand and fight. We need to take a stand and fight. In this life, I tell you, although persecutions may come, but it is the will of God. It is the will of, the Bible says that God gave Solomon rest on every side. Don't you care about rest? Every ungodly situation in your life must bow by the blood of Jesus. They must bow to the blood of Jesus. They must submit. They must be eliminated. They must be dissolved by the blood of Jesus. Lift your voice and pray. Say every ungodly situation in my life, I challenge you today by the blood of Jesus. I challenge you today by the blood of Jesus. Disappear now. Every ungodly situation in my life, I challenge you today by the precious blood of Jesus. Disappear from my life. Every ungodly situation, demonic situations in my life, I challenge you today by the blood of Jesus. Disappear, disappear. Somebody pray in the mighty name of Jesus. That very thing that indicates demonic presence in your life by the blood of Jesus man those area but I somebody pray whatever that represents whatever that indicates demonic activities in my life every situation as I see it in the name of Jesus vanish right now vanish right now vanish right now vanish right now People can't go on making promises to you and at the end of the day not fulfill their promises. There is a power that needs to be eliminated. There is something that needs to go out of the way. It's not a, a good situation to find yourself in. Begin to plead the blood of Jesus. As our faces are different, so our problems, so our challenges, so our mountains are. Plead the blood of Jesus right now, whatsoever it is, whatsoever it is that indicates a demonic activity, that indicates satanic oppression in my life in the name of jesus i plead the blood against you i plead the blood against you i plead the blood against you disappear right now disappear 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 whatsoever you are i plead the blood of jesus against you child of god pray with understanding that god said this will be our week of overcoming it doesn't matter when you are watching this as at the time of streaming, as at the time of streaming this prayer, God said it's going to be our week of overcoming. So whether you're watching this now or in the future, I just want you to know that from the time you see this, from the time you are seeing this, you have already begun to overcome. Mountains are rolling out of the way. Things are falling in place in the mighty name of Jesus. Plead the blood of Jesus against whatsoever whatsoever any situation that is not of god in the name of jesus christ plead the blood of jesus 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 Satoria kataya in the mighty name of jesus christ in the mighty name of jesus christ very early this morning i got a message from one of uh, my faithful uh, uh, partners and follower and uh, she said it's her birthday and her only wish is to be free from something she's dealing with. All of a sudden, the devil attacked her with, uh, with an illness. Whatever you are dealing with right now, in the name of Jesus, I pray for you to be healed. I pray for you to be healed and delivered from your affliction. For sickness it is not the plan of God for your life. God doesn't want you to be sick. God doesn't want you to be sick. That's why Jesus received those stripes. That's why he bled. That's why they scourged his body. And by the stripes of Jesus, you were healed. By the stripes, out of those stripes came blood. Out of those stripes came blood. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood against every disease in your body.
I plead the blood of Jesus against every disease, every infirmity, every affliction in your body. I plead the blood of Jesus against it. In the name of Jesus, that disease suffers absolute defeat today by the blood of Jesus. That disease in your body suffers defeat today. Absolute defeat today by the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. The condition that you've been facing for many years. The thing which you've been dealing with for a long time. Today, by the blood of Jesus, they are defeated. They are defeated. They are defeated. All those things you've been dealing with. In the mighty name of Jesus, concerning the situation best known to you, I plead the blood of Jesus against it. I stand in the gap for you today in the name of Jesus to plead the blood of Jesus against backwardness. I plead the blood of Jesus against rejection. I plead the blood of Jesus against setback, against promise and failure. I plead the blood of Jesus against the suffering. I plead the blood of Jesus against the spirit of betrayal. The spirit of betrayal around you, it seems you can't trust anybody anymore. The spirit behind it, in the name of Jesus, I plead the blood of Jesus against it. And the betrayer as a situation, I plead the blood of Jesus against it. In the mighty name of Jesus, I plead the blood of Jesus against against lack I plead the blood of Jesus against lack somebody is drowning in the sea of depth I plead the blood of Jesus against that situation may God make a way for you in the name of Jesus the Lord will make a way for you in the name of Jesus the Lord will make a way for you in the name of Jesus I plead the blood of Jesus against that situation that situation you find yourself blood of Jesus 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 somebody watching this they have lied against you you've just been accused of something you have no part in something you have no part in and it threatens your very um, uh, position today it threatens you in some significant ways. I pray in Jesus mighty name. By the blood. May you be vindicated. You shall be vindicated. You shall be vindicated. You shall be vindicated. You shall be vindicated. By the blood of Jesus. I silence those liars. I silence those accusers. In the name of Jesus. Those accusers of your life and destiny are silenced today. In the name of Jesus. I pray for you today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Concerning any situation you've been dealing with. In Jesus mighty name. Receive your victory. Receive your victory over that situation. In Jesus mighty name. The Bible speaks of enchantment, invocations, and divination. The Bible speaks of curses through these means. As a matter of fact, the Lord said there is no enchantment nor divination against the house of Jacob that shall stand. People are there who are experts in casting spells. People are there who are experts in divination, in enchantments and invocations. They are all there. Whosoever lays a curse on you, whosoever speaks negative over your life, shall be disappointed in the mighty name of Jesus. Word is creative. Word is creative. And it was demonstrated by God in the book of Genesis. Let there be and there was. Let there be and there was. Let there be and there was. And the scripture says you shall decree a thing and it shall be established. We see also in various places in the scriptures where people spoke. Where people said things. Elijah the Tishbite fell into depression because of a word spoken by Jezebel. 
Jezebel said the word. He said, if I find you, if I catch you, Elijah ran away, became suicidal, prayed to die. It was a word spoken by a person. Whoever has spoken a word over your life, I may not know, but I tell you that words are creative, words are effective. Maybe the depression they've diagnosed you of is as a result of a spoken word over your life. Maybe the problems you are seeing in your life today are as a result of a spoken word by someone that hates you passionately. Someone that hates you passionately may have spoken a word over your life, may have laid a curse, may have done what they call divination or some enchantment invocations against you. But all of those things does not matter now. It doesn't matter what they have said against you over your life, what they want to see in your life. It doesn't matter. In Africa, we have people. It's, it's not just Africa. It's a global thing. There may be people in the village who call your name every night to cast a spell on you, who call your name, who go to the, to the river bank to make sacrifices and say things that should happen to you. There are many people who are struggling overseas because of such invocation, such enchantment, such words spoken over their lives. There are many people who should be far, who should be shining today, who should be elevated, highly blessed in life today. But because of words, some enemies of progress spoke over their lives. They are not progressing. Nothing is working for them. The blood of Jesus is against those words if you are serious about this lift your voice and pray say every word spoken over my life and my destiny i dare you to put your hand on your head as you pray this prayer every word spoken over my life by they that hate me by unknown enemies every word spoken over my life to alter the course of my destiny the course of my life be cancelled by the blood of Jesus. Say every word spoken over my life by the wicked. In the name of Jesus, be cancelled. Be cancelled in the name of Jesus. Say every word spoken over my life by the blood of Jesus. I cancel you. I cancel you. Somebody lift your voice and pray. For we overcame by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. Every word that has been spoken. Every unrighteous decree that has been made. The Bible says, woe is he that makes unrighteous decree. Woe is he that decrees unrighteously. Woe is that person. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus has been engaged. The blood of Jesus is active right now as we pray. Every spoken word. Every word, words are creative. Words are creative. This is a demonstration of what the word can do and what the word really is. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God and we know God is a person. Man, they say God is a spirit manifested in a person, in the, in the person of Jesus Christ. The word can take a form. The word can take a form. The word can take a form. The word can take shape. Whatever has been generated in your life through negative spoken words against you, may the blood of Jesus neutralize it. May the blood of Jesus nullify 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 it. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lift your voice and pray. Every spoken word against me be nullified by the blood of Jesus Christ. Those words shall fall to nothing. The Bible says, let them speak the word. It shall not come to pass. Let me tell you, it shall not come to pass. 
it shall not stand neither shall it come to pass by the blood of jesus those that says they will deal with me shall be disappointed by the blood of jesus those that says come and rise now let me see they shall be disappointed for i shall rise for nobody can touch me i'm untouchable i'm indestructible and so are you child of god in the name of jesus every word that has been spoken as a threat as a curse or whatsoever in order to make your life miserable is cancelled today by the blood of jesus is cancelled so today by the blood of Jesus I plead the blood of Jesus I plead the blood of Jesus I plead the blood of Jesus over those words and statements that have taken a form or shape in your life I plead the blood of Jesus and I cancel it in the name of Jesus where they said you will never go far you shall go far in Jesus mighty name where they say you will never rise, you shall rise in Jesus' mighty name. Where they say you will not succeed, I say to you, you shall succeed in Jesus' mighty name. The woman, they say she will never carry, she will never bear children. That word is cancelled. And the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus have changed your story. You shall carry, you shall carry in the name of Jesus. I hope the mic is not breaking and making some serious declarations here in the mighty name of jesus by the blood of jesus by the broad blood of jesus by the blood of jesus every threat they made every threat they made against you is null and void in the mighty name of jesus by his precious blood you shall rise you shall shine you shall excel you shall prosper you shall win you shall overcome in the mighty name of jesus by his blood you are unstoppable by his blood you shall not suffer defeat by his blood you shall walk free by his blood no weapon formed against you shall prosper in the mighty name of jesus christ as the blood protected them from the angel of death so is the blood applied upon your life today you shall not die before your time but you shall live to declare the goodness of the lord in the land of the living and with long life shall the lord satisfy you and show you his salvation in the name of jesus in the name of jesus when that angel that spirit of destruction comes by they will not near you they will simply pass because the blood of jesus covers you i cover your life with the blood of jesus your job your business your children your family your properties your your finances your health your spirituality i cover with the blood of jesus that you will not be invaded by unclean spirits that you may be protected from confusion that you may be shielded from the arrows of darkness designed to turn your life upside down in the name of jesus i pray for you that you be protected in all your ways in the mighty name of jesus the blood covers you 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 the water you drink I cover with the blood of Jesus. The food you eat, I cover with the blood of Jesus. They may try to poison you, but it will not affect you. I say it will not affect you. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. Whoever is watching this, who has been marked for food poisoning it will never happen oh you love your friends and you love you love your friends and you love those members of uh, uh, extended family hallelujah you love your friends you love your friends and you love those uh, extended family members 
I tell you, you shall not be poisoned. Anyone that tries to poison you in a meeting shall be disappointed. The blood of Jesus covers you. Somehow, it won't get into your system. Even if it does, it will not do anything to you. In the mighty name of Jesus. is our week of overcoming. And by the blood of Jesus, we overcame. In the name of Jesus. We are praying today and enforcing the power of the blood. I tell you, child of God, you are a winner. And you will win today, tomorrow, throughout the week, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray for you today. Listen very seriously. I want to pray for you. I want to stand in the gap for you. I want to pray for you. If you have a prayer request or there is something you want to share with the man of God or you have a testimony, I encourage you to please send me your prayer request. Send to the number on the screen or to the email addresses. Any of the email address uh, coming up on the screen. Send your prayer request. I want to stand in the gap for you. I want to pray for you. I trust the Lord to touch your life in a significant way and uh, give you the desire of your heart. You may send your prayer request via WhatsApp or Telegram or via email. The Lord will bless you abundantly. He will bless you abundantly. He will prosper you in all your ways. He will prosper you. He will prosper you. He will prosper you in the name of Jesus. Whatever your prayer request might be, I tell you, God is able to do it for you. God is able to change your story. God is able to turn things around for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It is well with you in Jesus' mighty name. I encourage you to please try and get in touch. Try and get in touch. I am in the mood today. I am in the mood today to pray for you. It is well. Be covered with the blood of Jesus. Be covered with the blood of Jesus. Be covered with the blood of Jesus. Those uh, machines, those machines that are giving you problems. Somebody's watching this, you have... Uh, a machine or machines that are giving you problems. Um, you keep spending on repairs. You keep spending on repairs. Whatsoever is behind all the damages that have cost you so much, whatever is behind it, I tell you, the blood of Jesus have dismissed it. In the name of Jesus. Your projects I cover with the blood of Jesus. Some are waiting to mock you. They are waiting to mock you to say you started what you could not finish. They are waiting to mock you. Ah, oh, you started what you could not finish. Don't mind them. Don't mind them. What your hand have started, it will surely finish. I see divine supply. There's a divine supply coming. A divine supply that you may finish what you have started. You will finish what you have started in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare you blessed and I pray you have a lovely day. Feel free to get in touch with the ministry. If you are led to be a blessing to the ministry through giving, Please get in touch with us. Let us know. It will be our joy to have your support. If you want to give your Tuesday offering, may the Lord bless you as you do so. Get in touch for details. In the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you. This is your brother and friend, Apostle Charles. I'm standing in the gap for you today. 
Today is today. Today is today. After the stream, I will carefully go through the comments and I'll pray for every one of you individually and collectively. Do not forget in the evening, we break our fasting with the Holy Communion. The wine is ready and the bread will be ready, available, fresh from the bakery in the evening. Get your communion items, the wine and the bread. Just if you don't have bread, look for a substitute. Maybe a cookie or biscuit will, be, will, will suffice. God bless you. I love you so much with the love of God. And I pray you be well and safe in the mighty name of Jesus. Thanks to everyone who prays for me and who stand with me in the ministry. It is well with us in Jesus' mighty name. Every Tuesday we fast and pray. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the evening at 5 p.m. South African time. God bless you. I'll see you again in the evening. Bye for now. Shalom. <laughs>